we are going to tier list rank the 2024, I guess you call it, Academy Awards is the movies that came out in 2023. So it'd be S tier, A tier, B, C, D. So if somebody's C and D, that doesn't mean they're bad. They're ranked amongst each other. We're going to go in order that we watch them. The first movie that we watched that ended up being nominated for the best picture was Barbie. And I give it an A. I love that it triggers the people that it triggers almost yeah. as much as I love the movie. Yeah. I really, that, that makes me very happy. I was surprised at how good it was and how funny it was. What about you? I can give it an A too. Great acting by all of them. We're going to put Barbie A tier, but that might change depending on how other things go. Second movie we watched was Oppenheimer. I mean, I enjoyed Barbie more, but Oppenheimer is, better movie. I think, a better movie. I've only seen it the one time with you. Very long, very awesome, jam-packed, full, uh, S tier for me. What about for you? A tier for me. Really? Only A tier? Yeah. Man. I really like his sound design. It really Amazing blows you acting. away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's it's a little long. It was like right at three hours, right? Yeah. But that's why it's not an S tier. Hmm. Okay. Um, well, let's but... we'll put it as A tier for now, but I'll put it ahead of Barbie mm -hmm. since it, Barbie got two A's and Oppenheimer got an A and an S. And just while we're doing this, I think that Oppenheimer is going to win. It is the favorite. I think that's going to be the best picture winner. Our next one could win. Which was? Poor Things. Poor Things was the third movie that we watched. What are your thoughts? I, I went S tier. S tier. You love that movie? Yeah. I love the cinematography with the fish eyes, like lens. And it was a very funny movie. Amazing by uh, Hulk. What's the dude's name? Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Emma Stone. That was really good, but I just love the cinematography of that movie. Yeah, Emma Stone, fantastic. Um, Mark Ruffalo actually stole it for me as well. He's such a, a scamp, a scoundrel, rapscallion, but pathetic and hilarious. And just, yeah. he's got, it's still, he's still sweet. There's <laughs> something about it. He's, he's fantastic. He stole, this, stole it for me. It was my favorite movie of all the ones that we saw. I wish it would win Best Picture. I don't think it will, but it was my favorite. I agree, S tier. Really? Yep. Nice. Consensus. Yeah. S tier. All right. The fourth movie we watched was The Holdovers. What's your thoughts and where would you rank it? S tier. For me. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why um, S tier? Because um, it feels like a, a 60s movie. I, okay. I love that feel. The retro? Yeah. And it, I just love that feel. And I, and so because of that feel of retro, and it, was, it was a good movie. I just felt like it was really well made, and I just I really enjoyed watching the movie. So this is gonna be a tough one for us to figure out where to put it because for me it's C tier. So I say we put it B tier. B, the fifth movie we watched, <laughs> one that you really did not enjoy that much. Killers of the Flower didn't even get it out. Wow, Killers of the Flower Moon. Scorsese, it was okay. D tier. It was okay. Bad directing, by Scorsese. I didn't like. I, I didn't notice any of like his like. I didn't see any of his impact in the movie. I did think he had good acting. So you think Lily Gladstone? Yeah. Deserves to be nominated for best actress. Yes. What I really liked about it was the score, the drums. There was an ominous feeling throughout. I agree in regards that it wasn't his best, best. and it was an issue. I give it a, a B. You give it a D. So it's C tier. So it's C tier. Next movie we watched was. It's kind of a weird one to me. Maestro. Either lower B or upper C for me. Because it's a weird movie. The acting is uh, bold. I think it's going to be a cult classic. Because it's like got some campy uh, parts. I know that you didn't like the choices. You would have liked to see more about his life as a actual musician. And having that music yeah. aspect. A more historical basis. Yes. It was more of a dramatic movie. Where would you rank it? C tier. You would rank it C? So yeah. I think it's got to go C all right, this one, I'm going to let you go first. Anatomy of a Fall. A tier. Okay. I really liked how it's like an unconventional, like, not storytelling, but like plot. And I really like the ending, how it doesn't tell you what like, what really happened. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The ambiguity. Yeah. yeah, you, yeah. you always love that. Yeah. yeah. Really great acting by the main actress, too. Mm -hmm. um, I just, I really enjoyed the movie. I, I thought it was a really well-made movie, too. Here's the thing. So, I enjoyed it. But unlike 
most, if not many of the other ones, I don't really care to see it again. Um, I, I thought it was good. I just didn't find it exceptional. I had it as a D tier. So you had it. Yeah. I had it as a D tier just cause it wasn't, it was a good movie. It was a good movie. I don't think it should have been nominated for best picture. So you have it as an A. Um, so B. I think a B is fair on that. Yeah. <clears throat> Anatomy of a fall. Next one is past lives. Go for it. A tier. I really love the story. And I know mom loved it too, the story. Um, all around, all of them had great acting, including that one white guy. I thought it was funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think it's very sweet. It's got a great story. Like, you feel for all of the characters. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the cool thing about it. Like, you're at different times, your heart goes out. And you know that because there's three of them, unless they all end up together... Somebody is going to, you know, at least one of them, but probably all of them are going to be sad because nobody gets, ex yeah. yeah. It, you know what? Talking through it, it, it makes me like it a little more. Uh, I had it as a C, like even a, a low C. Um, you said an A, so it's a B. B. Yeah. All right. So the next one is very heavy movie, The Zone of Interest. A tier. Okay. Delves on a lot of like serious themes and... I really like the ending of the movie, too. Great plot. Or not plot, but, like, great... The way they made the movie. I also have it, A, just to focus on the everyday life, what we all do to continue on despite atrocities around us. But that's it's taken to the, like, extreme degree. In this case, it's another Holocaust movie that we look at from a different angle. And it makes us think about that time the awful things that happen and likewise, sh you know, shines a light on us. We kind of bli <clears throat> blindly or in the case of the movie, deftly because of the sound, just ignore or get used to, or it's just part of the background. Um, so yeah, A tier, solid A tier. Hmm. And the last movie that we watched of the Best Picture nominees, American Fiction. What do you give that? B tier. I just thought it was a very funny movie. Mm-hmm. I really enjoyed it, and that's what actually prevents me from um, giving it an A or even higher because I enjoyed it so much. I wish I, I would have been made uncomfortable at my like inherent biases and things that I do. The white people that are in it are so much the clowns, the yeah. caricatures. It gives us something that we can point to. So that we can separate and and sort of go unscathed. Yeah, you know I understand the fact that. It's kind of pointing out and paralleling the fact that black people for so long, and not just black people, but Native American people were caricatures and they had the same three roles. But I think it would have been a little bit more like poignant if one white person in it seemed to be smart and hip and then suddenly it turns out they are, they're, you know, when things don't go, they're the worst of yeah. everything. I've been like, oh, yeah. dang, and like something to re-examine myself. Yeah. However, I don't want to like... Knock it down just because I'm like, it should have focused more on me. <laughs> like, that's literally some, maybe in that regard, I want to raise it because it made yeah. me say, hey, this movie needed to be more about this white person. I just found it very funny. Yeah, it's funny. It's funny. I just, yeah. So I gave it a, a, a B. You B. said B. B. All right. So here's the thing. We give American fiction a B. So what we've got left is the only S tier is poor things. Which we both agree on. Yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, you really like that movie. Yeah. We don't have a D tier. Mm -hmm. I know you're fine with that. I just... Mm -hmm. You're not fine with wow. that? No, I mean, like, in general, used to, you were like, I'm okay with not having something at either end. No, there has to be something at either end, huh? So you agree with yeah, me? Yeah. I want you... A, I man. said that, like, my a man. year ago. My man. <laughs> we need to have a D. I had both, both Maestro and Killers at a B. And I had Killers above Maestro. I had Maestro at a C and Killers at a D. <laughs> I mean, as much as I don't like it, I think that means that Killers has to go to the D. I, that's such a surprise. You you know what? But that's you can't have sentimental attachments. before. It's not like you were like, I'm going to really screw over Killers of the Flower Moon. Yeah. You went into the movie probably hoping it would be one of the best movies you've ever seen. Because... Yeah. Every time we go into a movie, we're like, man, I hope this blows me away. Yeah, exactly. And it didn't. No. And so I think the disappointment for that makes it That's look like... Thing. And 
when you're three hours long, you can't be disappointing. Killers of the Flower Moon D tier. All right. Let us know what you think of our list. Uh, yeah. We've got poor things at the top, killers at the bottom. I think Oppenheimer's going to win. Um, it might be the best one on the list, but poor things was the combination of, for me, poor things was a combination of Oppenheimer and Barbie. I enjoyed it. It had a unique, beautiful set. It had a meaning, a message, but also told a, a story like poor things for me was the movie of the year. Really? Yeah. I'm glad you agree with that. Yeah. But it's not going to win best picture. <laughs>